Hello everyone, I am Gander, the Gaming Clan, Vato Clan, and the video that you are about to see does have part of the game missing in it. And the reason for that is because when Twitch TV, the website, uh, began to delete their archived past broadcasts, some of the video segments were not able to be saved when I ripped all of the video. So in the interest of having as complete a Dominion history as we possibly can here on YouTube, uh, I'm uploading this video anyway, even though a portion of it is missing. Uh, so check down in the video description below for picks and bans or something like that, or to see who won in the case of it being a video that's missing the end of the game. So enjoy this little peek into the uh, past of Dominion, uh, in this case a fragmented peek. Uh, thank you for watching. And with permission from uh, Dominate uh, Dominion slash Dominate Gaming's owner, the Feedski, here you are. It's going to be a two for zero trade there, and shocking to see that they didn't they didn't try to close the gap on the Blanc. They're just kind of leaving her in the back. She sat at the turret, very healthy the entire time. Lux is doing whatever she can with her light binds, but they're really not not doing enough to to push in there. The Janna Lux combination is I don't think it's going to be strong enough to push against the engagements of the blue team here. And it looks like we have uh, Jamix actually used the revive and went bottom to see if she could grab that refinery, but was very unsuccessful. And the fight is going to be back um, teeing off again top lane here. And they're defending very strong right now, and they're all fairly healthy. Yeah, the LeBlanc actually doing good work versus the Squishies. She's able to get her her combo out onto Mother Russia without getting CC'd or hurt whatsoever. So as this game goes on, if she's not a target, she will be very strong and be able to start KOing these casters very quickly. What do you think the red team needs to do to be able to come back and really push these objectives? Um, a couple of things I've noticed is that Riven and Pantheon aren't making full use of the speed shrine. The um, red team could try to go for um, heavier jungle control. Um, blue team is quite good at poke fights in the jungle, though, with Jace and uh, Mumu being able to just go in at will. They could try to gank bot more. Um, Cho'Gath is doing fairly well in that lane at the moment, and if they can give him a bit of an advantage, he could try to snowball. He's got two kills on Yorick so far. Yeah, it looks like Red Team came down to cap this refinery. They did neutralize it. Riven just playing around with the move move. The movement unable to get the kill there, and it looks like they might cap this before the Jarvan comes back, but they need to retreat. They do not want to die right here. He doesn't have Cladoclysm up, and Janna does not have Monsoon either. Um, but it looks like Pantheon's going to hang around and try to defend this a little bit. Mother Russia taking a good amount of damage. The Ignite actually going down onto J4, but I don't think it's going to be enough. The Disengage trying to come out here. Riven and Pantheon dying to that Jace, who's already got a Brutalizer, 138 AD. Ooh, did not dodge the Shock Blast, and she's going to go down right here, but delaying a little bit longer. The Garrison coming down, the Tornado coming down running from the Jarvan. He actually misses his Q, and she is still kiting them around this turret. And like I said at the beginning of this game, it is very strong when she comes to defending turrets. She stopped them one more time. J4's come in. He's been slowed. She's going to get the kill on him. Great plays coming out from Janna here, and she's going to try to back while she still has a chance. Meanwhile, in the jungle, Cho'Gath actually came down bottom, was able to push the Yorick out and neutralize that point. They do have it back now, but it's a 3-2 to two cap right now from the red team. LeBlanc's done a pretty good job of holding top. She's LeBlanc is normally not very good at pushing, but she's done an excellent job here of not being pushed out. Yep, and now red team respawned healthy, came back up top. The defensive garrison came down, but was unable to get it. Jarvan coming in with a 1-2 combo, getting two kills right there. Worm in trouble now with no HP, but the kiteable John is coming out here to help out the friendly Lux. A light binding coming down, and now running back in for some reason. I'm not sure why Lux would do that. The Cataclysm coming down. Mother Russia taking a lot of damage. A standard without the Airborne. And I'm dumbfounded on why the Lux decided to try to come back after Jarvan when she landed that Light Binding. She could have continued to stall, 
continue to kite. It's a 2-2 two two cap right now. Mother Russia, a great dodge there. And Janna just really trolling hard with these tornadoes and her ability to move. Pantheon's coming up top. He's going to drop in, but it's a 4v2. He's going to be the tar target now. He's going to go down without getting the Jarvan very quickly to that LeBlanc. Um, Janna does a great job kiting and just trolling this blue team right now. I see Janna has Boots 5 to enable her back capping strategy. Yeah, that might have been their strategy all along, to get the Janna, to recap these points, fight a 3v3 up top, delay, and have Janna run in and grab the extra points when needed. It looks like she's going to be caught by the mummy right now, as Riven gets caught by both Jace and Jarvan, and she's disengaging, does not land the tornado here, but she's so fast right now that once her mobility kicks in, she is easily getting out of there. The quest objective is on the blue team right now for a couple of them who have it left. Um, Riven going to get locked down right here. Probably going to take a little hate from the LeBlanc. Ooh, a great laser coming out. And Worm almost picking up the kill onto Mikmu. Mikmu going down there. Pantheon jumping in but trading his life for that kill. And probably should have held back to hopefully delay a little bit longer. That was a great final spark though. Really chunking that LeBlanc down when her distortion was up. Now, do you think Janna can play the a strong enough support role that you'd see normally out of a, a Lulu or something like that on Dominion? Um, she's doing a very good job of keeping herself alive and being uh, sufficiently annoying to draw focus like a tank would be. Um, I think the problem is her front line seems to be dying quite fast. Her shields should be quite strong, though. And they will benefit the AD casters greatly. Yeah, her shields right now are about almost 300 damage are the shields. Uh, Lord Conquer defending here, doing a great job. Final Spark coming down. Not enough to take out Lord Conquer on a Mumu. Mother Russia going to be in a tough spot here. The Bind is going to land. Jace is going to pick up that to the skies in hammer form. He has a Phage and a Brutalizer now. Jace actually 5-1-4. The best score out of the entire team. The only one with more kills is Jarvan, but he's traded his life a few times to get those kills. Uh, the build's yes. looking very, very regular. Um, the Blackfire Torch coming out on Deluxe, a great item to get that percent health burn onto her enemies. And is it just me, or is Lux lacking boots? Lux is definitely lacking boots, but she's she's been staying back very, very far. You see, she's not even getting within range, um, dropping in the light grenades. But uh, she is definitely lacking boots. She hasn't gone back to buy them yet. She wanted to get the Chalice, Codex, and the Torch. She might even go right for the Athene's Grail before she um, switches to get boots. And another back door coming out from Red Team here. The Refinery being taken once again very easily. And now they're there with the tower. They can defend this quite easily. And Blue Team's going to disengage and try to push the Drill in here uh, now that they have a Mumu up top. What's um, helping... Purple keep pressure the refinery is the fact that top is quest right now, which means that blue have a higher than usual incentive to defend it. Yeah, and it's hurting them a lot just to give up that refinery for free. I mean, two people ran straight across the map. They didn't have anybody even looking in the jungle whatsoever to, to try to stop that push. And honestly, if they can hold the top three points, they should be hovering in that mid-jungle area where they can swing to either point that needs the help. And now Pantheon coming around to, to backdoor this bottom turret here. Yorick trying to get back. Um, the Rupture not landing from Saint. Defensive Garen coming out from uh, Rikuku. And the ultimate coming out of the Yorick here. He's getting very low. Jarvan going to Cataclysm. Going to be able to take out Nyx Tizzo here. Not after taking some damage, though. And, oh, has to use the exhaust. Burning the summoners. A oh, great juke the juke into the bush there. And the rupture landing. It looks like Mix is going to get out of here alive. That Pantheon passive, very strong. Blocking one of those auto attacks, which for sure would have been his death. Meanwhile, Mother Russia playing a troll position again and just kiting them around this turret, using the turret as most of their damage. A good juke by Ja MX taking out the Amumu. It looks like LeBlanc is coming in, though, running very fast with those home guard boots, I believe and dropping the Janna with Jace to get back this refinery point. 
but... Home guard boots aren't available if Blanc just revived. Oh, just revived, you're right. It is not home guard boots. It's the same animation. My apologies. But meanwhile, Lux came right up top, uncontested, grabbed the quest objective. So now they have the 10% damage buff on four members there. That's going to give a lot of help to Cho'Gath. LeBlanc getting caught out here, taking a lot of damage. Final Spark being able to put the KO on her. And it looks like... J4 is going to try to disengage here. A good slow coming out from Janna. There's a tornado. Pantheon with the storm shroud and the damage buff coming in here. Riven here as well. Amumu looking like he wants to engage with the sunfire cape. Misses the bandage toss. And I don't think they're going to be able to push in on this while they have the quest objective and the storm shield there. And meanwhile down bottom, it's just kind of a farm off. Saint just being able to push, push, push. Has the Blackfire Torch now, has the Rod of Ages, didn't fall back behind early, and the points are about even now. And the late game seems like it's working out a lot better for the red team. I'd say it's about the mid game at the moment. Top laners are about 7,000, bot laners are about 8,500 gold. Damage coming across here up top. Exhaust going down onto Jarvan. Cataclysm right onto the Lux, but does not have the damage to take her out. Jarvan is going to disengage, try to help out his team. The Riven going down to LeBlanc. Her burst is very strong. A great bandage toss from Lord Conquer there, but Pantheon's revived up. He's dropping in there. Mother Russia is trying to get back. A good stun there. LeBlanc trying to take her out, but the shield coming up, and they're going to come away with a 3-0 trade towards the end of that, a 4-0 trade. Uh, they did kill, I believe, the Pantheon and Riven, but the revives were available, so they came back to help out. And revives can really change up a fight right there, because now they're actually going to be able to push the minions right up to the refinery. One thing I'd ob Go sorry. Ahead. No, please. One thing I'd observe right now is that Yorick actually has 500 gold on Cho'Gath, despite being two deaths down. Um, last hits are really important. Yeah, I think Cho'Gath had a problem last hitting early on. Oh, a bandage toss onto Lux. She is getting dropped down. Amumu locking her down a little bit longer. But the double shield's coming out. Final Spark only hitting Amumu there, not the target that she wants. Riven doing a good amount of damage here. Lux getting shut down. Janna watching the turret as they take down that Amumu tank down bottom. Now it is a Pantheon and Riven versus that Jace. He can barely move through his acceleration gate. He does get a good knockback there, but Jamex closing the gap. A Pantheon spear is going to be able to end it for them. And it looks like they're going to go back after winning that fight. Amumu, though, has just come back up. Another great bandage toss from him. See if he can get Jamex here. The double shield's doing so much work right now. Lord Conquer getting trolled very hard. Another shield coming out from Janna. And Lord Conquer's going to go down here without getting anything for it. Those shields made up for half of her health when they were all up. And the shields right now, they add so much to your effective health because they're on cooldown that as long as you have a little bit of armor or sustain with your lifesteal, they are just making, they make it like you're wearing a war mogs and you haven't even purchased a giant's belt. Janna's shield right now is about a third of a warmox up every um, 10 seconds. She has no cooldown reduction right now. Yeah, and that's... I couldn't imagine once she does get cooldown reduction, if she does go one with one of those, um, you know, a Graceful Shroud or something like that. She actually went with a, a Wooglet's Witch Cap there, and that's going to be one more thing they're going to have to try to stop her with when she has the ability to Tornado, Monsoon, Slow with Zephyr, like... Her ability to defend right now is unmatched. Lord Conquer coming back in, biting off a little more than you can chew. Final Spark coming along. A great job there. The Riven Ultimate taking out LeBlanc. And they're coming ahead in this kill right here. Double kill for Lux. Jarvan's going to be locked down. He's trying to jump back in. Unable to. Lux with a triple kill as they chase onto this Jace right here. But I don't think you can catch Jace with the Acceleration Gate. They're actually going to peel off, take the Refinery and push even harder, whereas they were behind at the beginning of this game. They lost a few. Oh, they did not spread out. One Shock Blast stopping all of them, but he did eat the CC. Lux just final sparking right across his face, and I think they're going to be able to cap this refinery. Oh, another miss there. The skill shot's not landing on Janna whatsoever. Yorick successfully dived Togath, but Pantheon was able to clean up. Togath used his revive, but it probably wasn't necessary. 
Yeah, and once again, Janna rocking the shields. Lord Conquer trying to get in on there. They're trying to finish off a Janna. Final Spark doing enough damage for Riven to pick up that kill. Lord Conquer in a little bit of trouble here. Trying to 1v1 versus the Riven. She's going to be able to take him out. There it is, a double kill, but the entire team's coming up. The revives are out. J4 is full health. A light grenade kind of going off to the side to see if she could pick up that kill. A good snare, but it is not going to be enough. LeBlanc actually whiffing the distortion. It didn't matter, though. She had Jarvan and um, the handsome Jace to just jump on there. But meanwhile, the top point actually got neutralized. They probably should have fallen back uh, simply because those minions were doing work up top there. Uh, fight coming down down bottom. The um, Yorick forced to ult. I believe he died. Um, so it was a one-for-one one trade. Lord Conquer came in, though, to assure that Cho'Gath didn't make it out alive. Red team's nexus is at 50 percent health. Chase capping mid is going to allow purple team a good head start on the windmill. Wonder if Janna can keep them busy for long enough. It is. Ooh, did not oh. get to neutralize. It looks like very close to it. There's going to be a fight under the turban, under the turret. Excuse me. Cataclysm coming down. Riven focusing on that LeBlanc. Lux laser coming from downtown to pick up that kill. Janet in a lot of trouble here, but trading kills with Jace. And a good trade right there because they did neutralize the turret now that the the minions are there. Jarvan is there capping it. Lux unable to close the gap with Amumu just sitting on top of her. And they're going to be able to grab this back for a 3-0 trade. Uh, meanwhile down bottom, it looks like Saint is not scaling at the very late game here like the Yorick is. Yorick now has Trinity Force, a Sanguine Blade, and a Spirit Massage. So his sustain and damage is just outmatched right now by the Cho'Gath, who's gone mostly AP. Cho'Gath is taking too much damage from the minions. He doesn't have any defensive itemization at all. Ooh, big fight coming out here. Cal McMoo caught in the brush. LeBlanc dropping very quickly. And now it's going to be a 2v4 up top as they dive in on here. The Amumu's dropped out the dance, dropped out the ultimate. It's not going to be enough. Nyx is probably not even going to go down here. Lord Conquer doing whatever Amumu can. The defensive garrison came down. Jarvan coming in, but they did, they did the right thing this time. They spread out. They couldn't all be interrupted. Mixtape went to just peel as they took that turret. He's going to trade his life for it, I believe. He might be able to disengage, doing a great job with damage there. The monsoon a little too late because the Q out of Jarvan, that dragon strike, was enough to take out Pantheon but a very worthwhile trade. One thing I'm noticing bot lane is Cho'Gath is not trying to use his passive sustain on Yorick's minions, which would make his life at least a little easier. Yeah, those last hits, not only are they going to give him gold, but they're going to give him the health and mana he needs to spam his abilities and stay in that lane. Amumu running in up top here to the 2v1. Lux kind of keeping it a 2v1. Lord Conquer just taking damage as it goes in onto the Slux, trying to zone them. Pantheon, though, going to be dropping in here. Zone them back. They haven't jumped on there. Mikmoo getting the passive. Popped right there. LeBlanc trying to just run away as the final spark just chunking her health down. Very good final sparks coming out here and always landing on that squishy LeBlanc. It looks like it's going to be another 2v2 here. Exhaust coming down on Mix Tizzo, reducing his damage by quite a bit. They're going to be able to pick up that kill, and now it's up to Mother Russia to get out of there. The final spark, though, grabbing that Jace. You're never alone, Janna, because here comes your team to help you out. Lux dropping the shield. Oh, does not land the shield, but lands the snare. But here comes LeBlanc, jumping right onto that Lux, doing whatever she can to burst her down. But as Riven comes flying in, I believe had Ghost up as well. And nope, did not even use the ghost, but there it is popped and trying to jump in on this Jarvan. And once again, they're using so much CC onto Mother Russia, who's just able to kite them over and over again. LeBlanc finally able to two combo her down and probably going to put a good amount of damage on this Lux here as they go 1v1. The Jace is there to help out, though, and Riven is forced to disengage, but they've kept three points this entire time. There's only 37 points left. Mother Russia had the revive up right there, the tornadoes, and we've already talked about this before, but her ability to defend the turret is unmatched right now. And she's going to be able to be able to... Janna's picked up, up a locket to add to the shield stack. <laughs> the shield stack. Very, very strong right now. A little bit of heal coming down from Pantheon. They trade that kill with a Moomoo, and 
the delay right here is really working out in Red's favor. Even if they lose this fight, they're still delaying. Defensive Garrison coming down. He's going to have one more shield. It's not enough to stop them. They will get the three cap, but no, the laser is going to stop them from capping it right there. The minions are being dropped. They're helping out. Lux is here. They stand together again. Eat the light grenade, the snare, the dragon strike misses. No airborne, no skill shots landing on this Lux. She takes out the...